Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And with me today is Brian Windsor, the CEO of Lung Therapeutics. Welcome, Brian. Thanks yes. for having me. Yes. And uh, you're leveraging $27 million in NIH funding. That's correct. Um, to develop solutions for lung-related fibrosis. So yes. tell me about that. So fibrosis basically is scarring of organs. Um, and lung scarring or lung fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis, um, is a devastating condition. It's got a five-year mortality rate of 80%, oh. so it's very devastating. Pleural fibrosis is a complication of pneumonia, and so we've got two drug programs, one for pleural fibrosis mm -hmm. and one for lung-related fibrosis that we also believe will be applicable to other forms of fibrosis as well. Okay, so we're talking about, of course, sort of cystic fibrosis, right. pulmonary fibrosis, right. pleural fibrosis. What all are the treatments that you're developing for all these different fibrosis diseases? So we have two drugs. One is LTI-01. Okay. It's an enzyme drug for clearing pleural fibrosis related to uh, complications from pneumonia. Okay. So people with pneumonia sometimes get fluid built up around the lungs mm -hmm. and that can be trapped by fibrosis or scar tissue. We have an enzyme drug that's injected into the pleural space. It clears the scar tissue, allows for fluid drainage, and patients don't have to have surgery and increase hospital time. Amazing, okay. Yeah. So we know cystic fibrosis is genetic. Yes. Um, so you also have some treatments that possibly could work with that as well as some other fibrosis diseases. Right, our LTIO3 drug for pulmonary fibrosis has shown promise with skin fibrosis, huh. uh, cardiac fibrosis, we're testing liver fibrosis, we want to test cystic fibrosis, it's an amazing wow. blockbuster Huge potential drug. Yes. And so fibrosis just means scarring. Yes. So on any organ is what scarring you're Scarring of the organs, many times, uh, sometimes it's genetic, many times they don't know where it comes from. Right. Um, but it's a devastating condition. Okay, so you um, are testing these in Australia, New Zealand. Where does that stand? So we have just started our first clinical trial for LTI-01 in Australia, New Zealand. Um, we opened the sites just a few weeks ago, so we have active sites. We'll be testing that drug over the next six to nine months. LTIO3 is about probably 12 or 13 months away from a clinical trial. Okay, and then tell me about your medical advisory board and also your executive team. So our medical advisory board is the best in the business. And these people were attracted to lung therapeutics because of the promise of our drugs. Um, Ganesh Raghu, um, Fernando Martinez in the US, um, Andreas Gunter in Europe, um, Gary Lee, Jerry Kreiner, these are all key opinion leaders in lung fibrosis and pleural fibrosis and all kinds of lung devastating conditions. Our executive team uh, includes our founder, Steve Idell. Uh, he's our chief scientific officer. Uh, he's a 30-year thought leader in lung and pleural fibrosis. Andrew Mazar uh, has a career. He started the Abbott Pharmaceuticals. He's been in many startup companies, has done a lot of drugs um, you know, through uh, NDAs. Um, Gina Lento, John Coling, a tremendous team. Now, are you in the process of raising more for drug trials as well? We are. You know, we leverage a lot of NIH grant funding, okay. more than $27 million of NIH grant funding, mm -hmm. but we are currently raising a $9 million Series B round of funding. Uh, that Is that will, from private From investors? private investors, okay. yes. We've mm -hmm. got um, about a third of that funded so far. Um, we're, we're finishing out the raise that will allow us to finish the clinical trial for LTI-01 and also get LTI-03 into a clinical trial. Now, are there other companies also working on similar type of treatments for fibrosis? You know, for pleural fibrosis, no. Mm. Um, there, there are really no companies that are doing this for pleural fibrosis. It's a kind of a niche market. Okay. Uh, for lung fibrosis, yes. Um, organ fibrosis, there are many companies. The difference is that um, our molecule targets a mechanism which is really unique. So there's a, there's a lot of competition, but we have a very unique target that we've seen actually reverse uh, established fibrosis. Huh. So it's a game changing drug. So it doesn't drug. just treat it, but it also reverses That's correct. the scarring. Yeah. Okay, and what's in store for next year for you? 2017 is going to be a great year. We've got LTI-01 in our, in our clinical trial. We're going to see safety, uh, some hints of efficacy. We're going to get the dose. LTI-03 will get ready for a clinical trial. 
it's going to be a huge year. Okay. Well, good luck to you. Thanks and so much. I know a lot of people would love to see a treatment for this. And yes. You're doing good work. So thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Brian Windsor, CEO of Lung Therapeutics. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. For more information about small companies doing interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ. Have a great day.